for mature audiences. If I learn anything about you all this last few weeks, is that each one of you has some sort of identity issue, okay? That you don't feel accepted by society due to having abilities that are deemed non-marketable. That's a mental block that you put up. And to help you realize that, we need to start empowering ourselves and each other, all right? And I also gotta remind you, each meeting, that I'm not a licensed mental health professional. Those people don't meet in the local rec center or have a rookie card like yours truly, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I'm not feeling too good. Jesus Christ, you drank them all? I'm like blowing into the straw and letting it squirt into my mouth. Stop there shaming me, Seth. To help drive you and give you some purpose, we're all gonna go around and you're gonna say whether you identify as a superhero or supervillain. You can't say supervillain anymore. Here she goes with this shit. Don't tell me what to say. You're not my mom's boyfriend. I mean it. You're placing a negative label on someone who may have a mental illness that they can't control. It's not their fault. The socially acceptable word is offender. And instead of superhero or superhero, use the preferred term defender. It's universally inclusive. I'm confused. Was there a vote? Hey, Leah, you're so woke. Why don't you go to sleep? You're annoying everybody. You think you're hot Why shit? Why y'all do this to so me? Lame. First of all, all y'all nasty. Stop I don't even want to put my nipples in your dirty uh. ass. Threader, how about you lead? Superhero or supervillain? I threatened my neighbor's dog last week. Oh, poor doggy. Your tale of animal cruelty arouses me. Sharing is caring. Villain, I could see right through you from the beginning. Aha, wrong. That dog was the villain. He wouldn't ever shut up. And my neighbors loved me for threatening that bastard. Love me. They made me head of the neighborhood watch. Plot twist, nice one. All right, guys, roll camera and sound. Sound speed. I'm the threader. My power is that I threat people. I'm actually contemplating if I should address it as something uh, more of a thing. Can I pull you on possible threats? Um, do you prefer prepare to be threaded? Or beware, the threading cometh. Um, let's back it up just for one sec. When you say you thread people, walk me through that. I insert myself into someone's mouth and I come out their butthole. I thread them like a needle. Like with your penis? No, you sick fuck. Are you trying to me to me? Is that what's going on here? Do you need a demonstration? Oh God, no, I, I'm good. Good, I do it with my nip vipers. I think we can all agree, Sploogie is a hero. Really, I give off superhero vibes? I'll go next. You all already know I'm a villain, but what you didn't know is that it wasn't my choice. I was programmed this way. Just consider yourselves lucky my faulty programming prevents me from fulfilling my prime directives because you'd all be dead right now. And you may as all well be, because no one's touched my lady fingers. I handpicked them myself. What about you, Miss Venus? I ain't down with no villain BS. All hero here, baby. Seth? I know both heroes and villains have been courting you to join their camps. Where do you side? Does it even matter? We live in a world where we can be whatever we want, so why trap us in a box thinking we're gonna be one of the pros? Why can't we leverage our talents and make a buck? Seth's right, guys. Why be a hero when you can make a powers-based business? Prime example, last week I clogged my toilet really bad. I'm a cyborg, so it's half fecal matter and half industrial waste. It's good to know you have a butthole in case you ever piss me off. Shut it, threader. Anyway, I count my lucky stars because my neighbor is the liquid plumber. He turned into goo and dove right into my toilet. It's a shit job, but it only cost me 10 bucks. He's got a group on right now. Just tell him I referred you. Time Borg, I said no business promoting. I never agree with what any of you have to say, but Seth has a point. Labels build false expectations. I'm ignoring all attempts to derail today's exercise. 
How about you, Vera? How do you identify? Oh, hero. Bullshit. My sensors indicate otherwise. I'm not going to rewrite my entire system to label you something you're clearly not. Well, I am. Fooled me. I totally thought you were villain material. Why? You projectile vomit on people. That's not a nice thing to do. That's not my power. My super speed gives me extreme motion sickness after a few feet. It's not my fault. Just let me live my life, people. All right. Vera wants to be a hero. And with our support, she will achieve just that. No need to fault her because she didn't meet all of our expectations. All of your expectations? Hey, Vera, you can be a superhero with me. So, um, I think we learned a lot about each other today, as we do every week. Yeah? Does anybody else have anything to add before we break off into groups? Okay. Great. So, this week, uh, stare into your partner's eyes. It's um, a listening exercise, you know? Because uh, what I notice today and every other meeting is you all talk too much and not enough listening. All right, if you need me, I'll be outside. Check this out. These kids on TikTok are doing the superhero landing. Three-point landing. Oh, that kid almost jacked himself up. Man. See, I got my own, I got my own take on this. I'm swerving way left. Do my own unique thing. I'm landing with my ass out. I'm calling it the moon landing. Check this out. Nice. I see your butt crack. Ooh, and me sparkle. <laughs> Did you get that phone from the tiny people store? I know we just met, but you should subscribe and, and watch the rest of our videos.